What's happening everyone? My name is Speedstreak and welcome to the newest classic side gameplay footage in Sonic Forces. Now, when I actually first looked at this, it was originally at the Sonic Stadium site. I was just looking around when I saw the title of the article. I originally thought it was the Nintendo Switch trailer clip, but no, it's just a full length trailer of the gameplay and even shows the level where Classic Sonic is. It looks actually really good. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Alright everyone, may I present to you the Classic Sonic gameplay footage in Sonic Forces. And to be honest, it actually looks pretty good. And look at this. Sign is really interesting. And of course it does look like Green Hill Zone. But we'll get to more about that later, once we're done here. To be honest, the gameplay is looks really good. I'll also talk more about that later. And it just looks amazing, I can tell you that much. It looks beautifully well designed. The speed, angles, everything. I don't know if this would probably take place in the past or in another dimension, but I'll also talk more about that later. Beyond, I'm actually excited for this game to come out. But I am glad that Sega is taking their time to make this game. Classic Sonic's gameplay has always been one of my favorites. <laughs> Modern Sonic Speed is really good as well. I have to say, it has very good taste. Now, what do you guys think about that? Doesn't that make you more excited about E3? It sure made me excited. I mean, the reason why I can't wait for E3 is because not only will be able to be able to actually play the Sonic Forces demos, but also we'll be able to get the new characters revealed. I mean, that will be one of the best days ever. Now, I want to talk about my opinions for classic science gameplay and the Green Hill Zone look. What's interesting is that we recently got new information about this zone and is actually in fact Green Hill Zone itself. The reason why it has sand in the background is because of Eggman. Because of Eggman's industries tearing up the plants and not replacing them, it's just causing sand to appear and, wa and the water to subside. Maybe Eggman is using the water as a means of an energy source and he's just wasting it. I mean, without water, the plants in the Green Hill Zone will die. That is not good. Even though this Green Hill Zone looks completely different from what we saw in Sonic Generations, there are still some similarities that I can point out. In the level design, I realized that it had taken some notes from the level design in Sonic Generations, which is actually pretty interesting. But it's but some of its level design is also completely different. For once, when Sonic was going through that loop, it almost looks like a canyon part of the zone, which is actually pretty interesting because we haven't gone to a canyon zone in quite a while. Although this classic Sonic gameplay looks quite similar to the one in Sonic Generations, I noticed a couple differences. One. When Sonic jumps on the springs, his jumping animation looks quite similar to the animation in Sonic CD. And when he attacks his enemies, his jumping attack and his spin dash looks as if they've gotten stronger. I still don't know if Classic Sonic is still from the past or from another universe. I mean, who knows? It could be from the past. I think I'm leaning a bit more towards the alternate universe, but I don't know. We'll get to more details at E3. 
As for the music, it actually fits quite perfectly. It, I actually enjoyed listening to it while watching the gameplay, and it's, it fits really well with the zone. So what do you guys think? Do you like the zone? Do you enjoy listening to its music? Do you think this classic Sonic might be in a different universe than from the past? Well, you may leave down your opinions in the comment section down below. And stay tuned for more. There might be more information coming in soon. I mean, earlier than E3. So, who knows? So, stay tuned for more. So, thank you everyone so much for watching. And if you like this video, you can click like, leave a comment about it, and you can share it with a friend if you want to. And be sure to check out my other opinions on Sonic Forces News. So, once again, thank you everyone so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Speed Street.